The greatest singers in the world are gospel singers. We recorded the whole album at 432 tuning instead of 440 because it's nature's frequency. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God. We decided to put the birds on the front of that song. Started recording the birds. She did like four or five different voice memos of the birds singing. When she came into the house, she noticed on the fifth pass, there was something odd in the background, a tone. We have a good friend, Mr. Gordon Moat. He's the, one of the best piano players, plays on all the Nashville records. And Gordon's been blind from birth and he has perfect pitch. And he has told us that sometimes when he's sitting outside, he can hear this tone that the earth actually gives off. And he said, I think it's a miracle that you were able to capture the tone that I hear when I'm sitting outside in nature. That's the earth's frequency that I hear. When everything is really, really quiet outside, there's a pitch that you hear. She heard a sound that was that exact pitch that the earth seems to be in tune with. Listen again, when the birds start singing, you'll hear a tone right before the piano kicks in. This project is going to do so much for the healing of a lot of hearts and souls. Perfect C note in 432, which is exactly the key and the tuning that we recorded that song in. And so we put it, um, yeah, we'd already finished that song. And uh, so we just felt like it was God's confirmation that we were doing the right thing. The night is fading, the earth is waking up again. Scientific experiments are proving that birds sing and human voices naturally sing in 432. The birds are leading, all creation singing nature. Even the speed of light and measurements of the planet, sun and moon are near perfect multiplications in 432. This is not a new concept, but it's new to us. I'm gonna play you a note in 440, and then I'm gonna play you the same note in 432, all right? Here's 432. Forty. Everybody sing that note. Thumbs up when you got it. That's 432. So it just sounds like it's a little flat, but it, it is eight hertz difference. I believe music is a big part of our demise in our nation, in our world of the youth, and of what's going wrong with our, our world. The kind of music that we listen to can certainly have an impact, but even the frequency of the kind of music that we're listening to, it's crazy. What is the frequency that best soothes us or calms us or heals us?